Hello everybody, Stix here with the Token Minorities, bringing you another deck on Pokemon TCGO, and today I am bringing you a deck centered around Zygarde EX, or Zygarde Perfect EX, whatever you want to call it, from Fates Collide. And before I get into the deck, just a quick reminder that if you like this video or found it helpful, please leave a like, drop a comment, and maybe subscribe, it helps us out a lot, and lets us do more for you guys. But, like I said, this deck is centered around Zygarde EX, from Fates Collide, 190 HP as opposed to the normal 180, so it's already a step up from other EXs, and it's basically, I mean, kind of just a better Lucario in my opinion. Uh, there's, I mean, it has the three attacks, one for one energy, one for two, one for three, and they all hit for generally the same amount. Land Pulse does 20, plus 20 if there's a Stadium card in play, Cell Storm does 60, heal 30 from this Pokemon, and Land's Wrath does 100, so you don't necessarily get the draw support from Lucario, but you get extra bulk and the freedom to use a little extra, like, colorless energy if you want to. I mean, like, that's not really something that you're ever gonna necessarily use, but it is an option. And really, this entire deck idea reminds me a lot of Plasma back, I mean, was it last year two years ago sometime when it had like the thunderous that accelerated energy onto the bench it had the deoxys that increased attacks by 10 and the deoxys in this case is regirock ex with the reggie power ability each of your fighting pokemon excluding regirock ex do 10 more damage to your opponent's active pokemon uh deoxys ex had it way back when um don't remember i think it was like called power connect or something like that but i mean yeah regirock is basically just another um, Deoxys EX, Zygarde is the Lugia or the Curum from that set, and then the Thunderous is now in the form of Carbrink Break with a, for one single fighting energy, attach two energy from your discard pile to one of your fighting Pokemon. No, that does not say basic energy, that just says energy, so you can attach like DCEs, uh, strong energy, all of that for a single energy. It's basically an easier to get out Garchomp but it can only accelerate to fighting Pokemon. Now, Carbink Break goes on two different Carbinks. Normally you only run one, but I'm running a 3-2 line, which is a little more than the 2-2 line I've seen. But I'm running three just because I wanted to have, obviously, two of this Carbink with the Safeguard ability. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon EX. Just, let, I mean, let's Carbink just survive and not take damage from EXs, makes them waste like a Hex Maniac or Lysander around. And then I'm running a single one of this carving, the Energy Keeper. Basic energy attached to your basic Pokemon can't be discarded by effects of opponent's attacks, abilities, or trainer cards. Now, that doesn't protect strong energy, but I mean, it really just, in a situation where you're against like a Seismitoad or something like that, Seismitoad type of deck, you can just keep all your energy on like your Zygarde and stuff like that and you don't have to worry about it being discarded. 99% of the time, you're not going to use this guy, but I mean it can help in some cases. I'm also running a single Shaman EX, or not single, I'm running two Shaman EX for the setup ability just to draw some more cards. And then because we are running so many Psychic, or not Psychic, EX Pokemon in this deck, I'm running one Hoopa EX to get them all out, and then also a Halucha just because Halucha is great to have in any fighting deck and is easy just to throw in there because I mean, it has the free retreat and attacks for one energy, so there's really like no extra strategy needed if you have Halucha in the deck. So I mean, it's just very splashable in any deck using fighting energy. On to the items, we are running two Battle Compressor to get energy into the discard pile to be able to use Carbink Break's attack and also maybe get like a supporter in there or something to use with a VS Seeker. We are running one Escape Rope and one Switch just because, I mean, Regirock, Zygarde, and Hoopa all have a retreat costs of two or above with these two guys having three. So you want to be able to get those guys out of the active if your opponent's able to get them there. So having both of those available is always nice. We are running four Trainer's Mail to help with the consistency of this deck, four Ultra Ball to get absolutely everything out, four VS Seeker to reuse our supporters, and as of for the supporter line, I'm running a little bit of a weird one because I could definitely see running a uh, AZ or something like that. In fact, I actually switched out the AZ for a Fighting Stadium, and AZ is definitely worth a spot if you want in this deck because it can just pick up a Pokemon. Like, you can pick up a Hoopa, get it off the bench, you can pick up a Regirock, 
or a Zygarde that is Lysandered into the active spot. So I mean, AZ is definitely very good in this deck, so I would recommend trying it out and making the decision for yourself. But I have decided to throw a one Fighting Stadium in over an AZ, but I would highly suggest trying that out. I'm running one Hex Maniac just so I don't like lose the Pyro matchup. If anything, I would say that Hex Maniac can be foregone for an AZ as well, because I mean, except for like Pyro and then the Car Bank, you don't really have anything that, well, nothing's particularly popular right now. So I just opted for a Hex Maniac to disrupt our opponents so we are able to go for attacks and set up a little bit quicker. And then I'm running three Karina because I mean, it's a fighting deck. You wanna get your fighting Pokemon out. It's basically a free Ultra Ball for a fighting Pokemon and a Skyla to grab an item card. Running one Lysander just to, cause Lysander is such a great card. And then 3-3 of N Sycamore. This is the line I'm continuing to go with just because I haven't necessarily found something that much better. And so I've I've just been rolling with it. I mean, I could maybe add an extra Sycamore or an extra N, but these guys are fine for now. As for the stadiums, I'm running one Fighting Stadium and two Skyfield. The Fighting Stadium was over a AZ just because I wanted the 20 damage more than I wanted to pick up a Pokemon in my testing today. In previous times, the Fighting Stadium hasn't helped as much as like an AZ, so I mean, that's definitely a decision for you to make if you run this build of the deck. I decided that a Fighting Stadium for like just the recording session would be a little more helpful than an AZ. We'll see how that goes. And then I'm also running two Skyfield just because play down the Hoopa, play down the Shaman, play down everything you want. You're going to have a big bench if you play down the Shaman and the Hoopa. So you want to have as many spots as possible. And also once you play everything down, you can just throw a Fighting Stadium in to get rid of the Shaman and the Hoopa, just discard them and be in an excellent position. As for the uh, tool cards, we are running two of the Fighting Fury Belt to give our Zygarde a little more longevity, give it a whopping 230 HP and be able to hit for some more damage. So that is that is great with Fighting Fury Belt. One Float Stone just because, I mean, Regirock is so heavy that it takes a lot to get it out of the active spot. So slap a Float Stone onto it and one Power Memory just because, I mean, you want to be able to hit for that 200 damage sometimes and knock out an opponent's Pokemon. However, more often than not, I will want a Fighting Fury Belt on a Zygarde instead of a Power Memory. So that is why I'm running a 2-3 of those. And then as for the energy, we're running four strong and six regular energy. Uh, like I said, this is just my build. Uh, definitely try out an AZ instead of like a Fighting Stadium or something like that. It is definitely worth a spot in the deck. However, I have just decided for this recording session to go without an AZ, and we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I'm done rambling. Let's just go ahead and see this deck in action. Alrighty, I, we have found one against a Keto Succession with a Psychic and Steel deck, so that'll be interesting to see what my opponent is running. He does get to go for the coin flip. Hopefully, we get to go first, because this deck, I mean... If you start with a Zygarde, it doesn't necessarily mind going second because you can still attack. But in the optimal situation, you start with a Carbink, you just pass the turn, attach an energy to it, and then you can immediately Carbink break going into the second turn and then accelerate energy in. Looks like my opponent's taking a little bit to flip the coin. I mean, might just be that he is having trouble with Wi-Fi or something like that. Or maybe it's not even him, it's just TCGO screwing up. I mean, that is definitely a possibility. I have seen it in the past with TCGO. In fact, I have not only seen it, I have experienced it. So, um, hmm, interesting. Okay, we do lose the coin flip. That is pretty unfortunate. So it looks like we will be going second. In this case, I kind of want to have a Zygarde or I would have a Carbanks to start, but the one that's the energy, or not the energy keeper, the safeguard one, because it looks like it's going to be an EX type deck. I could be wrong, but yep, we do start with a, oh, we actually start with a really, really nice hand. I start with a Carbank. I can immediately Ultra Ball, get rid of two energy, and then I can uh, Ultra Ball for a Hoopa to grab a Shaman, a Zygarde, and a Regirock. So this is actually going to be a pretty solid first turn, I think, and then I can just end for more energy if I want to. Considering this is a fighting deck, odds are I'm going to want to play relatively, mm, I guess, stingently with my strong energy because odds are there's going to be 
an Aegislash or something like that. And, oh, wait, this, what? How's this a fighting deck? That's weird. I mean, this is, well, how's this, wait, it's steel, but with phantom? I, I'm, I mean, is this, this could be a Trevenant and maybe there are Jirachi in there. That might be why, but it looks like, okay, so, oh, I get it. Okay, so that's the Dublade. And okay, my opponent just had to pass the first turn. That is great for us. What I am going to do is Ultra Ball, get rid of both of these energy to grab a Hoopa. Yes, and then I will grab all of the things that I wanted to with the Hoopa. Yes, I would like to search for three Pokemon EX, one of each. And what's a bit unfortunate is that one, my opponent will have the type well he would have resistance to me and also i will also i will most likely have to end my opponent in order to be able to really um well in order to be able to get a good draw support because especially the fact that i have two carbink in my hand that I, that means i do not or carving break that means i would not want to discard them and i have to go for the end anyway that is that's fine with me I mean, my opponent discarded a Shauna, which was weird. It looks like he just didn't go for something first turn. But I do get some stuff that I can work with. Let's go ahead and put a Zygarde down, put a Float Stone onto this Regirock, play the VS Seeker to grab my N. And I am in a pretty good spot for turn one. I mean, my opponent could hit me for some damage if he gets like a Dimension Valley and a Trevenant, which I mean, based on the hand that I gave him, seems pretty likely but i'm kind of hoping that 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 because he didn't play the shauna that turn that he is just kind of that we he was sitting on a trevenant or some other hand that he didn't want to get rid of and yet my opponent is just going to ultra ball for the trevenant that's a bit unfortunate but you know what we will actually have a zygarde powered up turn two and then my opponent will trainer's mail Okay, there's the Dimension Valley. We will get hit for 60 this turn, but I don't think there's a way our, my opponent can knock us out. Um, I mean, I won't do any damage to this Trevenant at all, but I can power up Zygarde with, like, a strong energy, and then I will get two more to where I can hopefully, like... Actually, if my opponent doesn't get a Trevenant break next turn, I will be able to just knock him out with a Land's Wrath and... Alrighty, it looks like my opponent is just going to maybe get another Phantom, or he's going to get a Dublade. That is completely fine with me. Uh, as long as he doesn't get a Trevenant Break next turn, then I'm in a pretty solid position because then I'll have a Zygarde that's able to knock out the Trevenant in one shot. And I just kind of have to hope at that point. He will be able to knock out my Carbink next turn, but I mean, I'm, I'm relatively okay with it. And also the Trevenant matchup is why I ran, or why I'm running Hex Maniac in this deck. It allows us to use some more items, especially with like Karina and stuff like that. Items are plentiful in this deck and are very, very useful. And it looks like my opponent's just going to target down both of these Zygarde's. That is 100% okay. And I'll speak of the devil. So what I am going to go ahead and do is evolve into Carbink Break. Go ahead and put the Fighting Energy onto this Zygarde. And then I'm going to go ahead and N again. I mean, I could Karina, but that won't do me much good in this situation. Um, hmm. Oh, I even get something that I can kind of work with. And then I'm going to go ahead and Diamond Gift. It won't... Oh, it'll do 10 damage. I mean, thank you, Regirock. And then I'm going to throw both of those onto my Zygarde. My opponent will knock out the Carbank this turn. And if he doesn't, that's just fine. That means I will be able to uh, retreat anyway, because Carbank, for whatever reason, only has one retreat cost. But, eh, oh well. And my opponent actually is just going to power up the Hone Edge on the bench. It looks like he is going to Ultra Ball for the Trevenant Break. If, well, I mean, if I had to guess. Yep, there we go. So it will, the Carbink will go, will not go down this turn because my opponent is definitely just going to go for a Silent Fear. Yeah, that's just fine. But I can go ahead and start powering up. Let's see. Hmm, I get a Battle Compressor that's not going to do me any good. Let's see, I am able to hit for... 130 right now 150 unfortunately i don't have enough to to knock out this zygarde but or this trevenant break i will be able to hit for a maximum of hmm what will, what's the maximum damage i can hit for so i'm just going to go ahead and power up this zygarde on the bench and then go immediately for a sycamore 
and just kind of go from there. I get another sky field, so I'm going to go ahead and counter the Dimension Valley and then play down another Zygarde, go ahead and retreat into Zygarde Perfect, and I'm actually going to go for a Cell Storm first to heal 30 damage off my Zygarde, and then actually I'll be able to knock him out with consecutive Cell Storms, I believe, because, no, actually I will not, I will have to go for Land's Wrath next turn, but you know what, that is completely fine, and hopefully my opponent doesn't have the energy to go for a Silent Fear, never mind, he has a Via Seeker, he will get the energy, ugh, but... Aegislash will be a bit of a problem because it will be able to like just double the damage on my Pokemon and perhaps just knock out a lot of my EXs. We really just had a bad type matchup. I will... Ugh, I can't even use my um, VS Seekers yet because my opponent has me on item lock and <laughs> my, of course my opponent gets that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the Hoopa just because that has the most energy, or that has the highest retreat cost and is the least useful. But of course my opponent will be able to go for the Tree Slam this turn. Um, kind of have to pray at this point that my opponent won't be able to get a, a uh, Aegislash next turn. And he does just knock out the Carbank, Carbank he's able to take a prize. And I'm really hoping I draw into a strong energy this turn, because then I can knock out with a Cell Storm, but I do not. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just counter his Stadium once again, and then go for another energy on another Zygarde, and just go for a Land's Wrath to knock out this Trevenant Break, this very, very annoying Trevenant Break, and hopefully I will be able to use items next turn. Um, I get a strong energy, so even if he has the Aegislash, I will be able to knock that out, actually, because I will be able to Karina for a Muscle Band or a Fighting Fury Belt or something, and then I can Strong Energy and just kind of go from there. I will finally get to use items. <laughs> Although I am hoping at this point that my opponent doesn't have an Aegislash uh, is my Lysander. My Lysander is not there. Ugh, that's a little bit annoying, and I'm hoping my opponent doesn't have an Aegislash because that would be... Okay, he just goes for the False Swipe. He gets Heads. Of course he gets heads. Why wouldn't he get heads? And what I'm going to do is play down another Regirock. Put, let's go for the Trainer's Mail, see what I can get. I get a Karina. That is just fine. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, and my opponent actually just concedes, I guess. I was finally having a turn of items, I guess, did him in because I was able to start going for stuff. I could have gone for a Cell Storm to knock out the dub blade and healed a little bit of damage off and I guess my opponent didn't have anything else going so uh yeah that was game one and I'm just going to try to find another match with this deck Alrighty, we have found one against a Bowser minion with a fighting deck as well so this should be interesting hopefully it's not a Garchomp deck because Garchomp's just kind of ruin my day uh, we do get to go first so that is great for us Hopefully we start with a Carbink or something like that. Uh, we actually, oh, this is beautiful. Start with a Carbink and a Hoopa. That was ex honestly exactly what you want to start with. And I even have a Carbink break in my hand. And oh, wow, this looks to be a, okay, a Carbink break Primal Groudon deck. I, I've actually kind of started trying to make this deck myself. I actually have a build that I was gonna, that I'm gonna put out a little bit later. But yes, I would like to draw a card. No, I don't want to put Hoopa on the bench. And, ooh, man, this is great. First thing, gonna play Zygarde down, Battle Compressor, get rid of probably a Karina, an Energy, and another... And you know what, let's go ahead and get a Strong Energy into the discard pile. Let's go ahead and Trainer's Mail to grab a Fighting Fury Belt to be able to throw that onto our Zygarde. Let's, mm, you know what, let's just go ahead and Hoopa to grab probably a Regirock, Zygarde, and Shaman as usual. And mm, don't want to do that. Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. Uh, play down all of those guys. Probably, yeah, let's put that there. Put this here. Power up some attacks. Go for a Shaman. Yes, I would like to draw till I have some more cards. Hopefully get an energy. That's actually one. That's actually really, really perfect. Let's go ahead and play this onto the Carbink, and then I'm just going to go ahead and... You know what? I don't think I want to... Hmm. 
I kind of want to keep my hand just because I have such a good hand right now and I can, you know, do whatever I want. But I kind of want to get my opponent lower. So I'm going to play the Skyfield and then N, I think. Yeah, hopefully, well, I mean, I'll be able to draw into a Carbink Break next turn anyway with the battle with the uh, Ultra Ball. So I'm just going to play another Zygarde down. That way I can get rid of the Hoopa if I need to. Trainer's Mail, see what I can get. I get a Float Stone and a Super Rod. Let's go ahead and grab that Float Stone. Play that onto this. And yeah, let's play it onto the Regirock. And then I think I'm just going to end the turn right there. And we are, that was a heck of a turn one. I can even put the energy onto the Zygarde when I draw it. Ultra Ball for a, never mind. Won't be able to Ultra Ball for a Shaman. But I mean, I'm in a good enough position right now that I can just start like powering up my Zygarde on the bench. Carbink will be able to retreat. I mean, as long as my opponent doesn't run like a random crushing hammer or something like that. I could even take advantage of Scorched Earth. So there's a Carbink. I'm glad I have Hex Maniac in this deck right now because then I will be able to knock it out um, once, you know, once I play Hex Maniac. And wow, my opponent just conceded. Okay, that is completely fine by me. I mean, we had a good enough setup and I had stuff to work with next turn. So um, unfortunately, this will have to be a little bit shorter of a live as I'm crunched for time. But I wanted to do something, get it out there for you guys. And I still think this was a decent length. Uh, sorry that it's a little bit shorter though. Um, all my other ones will be as long as normal. But thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the deck. Again, uh, this is for you to try out. I'm not saying that you need to use this list. I was just giving you guys a starting point to work with for yourselves. But thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. And this is Sticks signing out. Why not? See you guys.